When I was young, I used to see um, my uncle is a doctor. I used to see him uh, deal with patients and I was captivated, I was motivated in how he used to do it. Um, I, I, I got motivated by him, we go to him and then we, we get well after some time, then I thought, what can I do? Maybe I would cannot become a doctor, but maybe something else. So as I grew up, then I discovered, ah, actually, I could address some of these agricultural related problems that you have in Africa. So biotech, of course, was one of the main uh, avenues that we could address these issues. These are sweet potatoes. The main problem that we have are weevils. Weevils normally affect the sweet potato roots, the storage roots. They're normally big roots that uh, we normally consume in sub-Saharan Africa. When they infest the sweet potatoes, we normally have production losses between 28 and 100 percent, meaning that percentage is not available for the humans to feed on, but the weevils consume them. We are trying through genetic engineering to insert weevil resistance genes into the plant so that the plant is able to fight off the weevils on its own without having to add pesticides or anything like that. How we do it, normally have a, na a natural mechanism of transferring uh, these genes from the bacterium into the plants. And when we insert these genes, the plants are able to fight off the weevils. So it's uh, quite a, if you look at it, it's quite a simplistic uh, mechanism. It ranks uh, the sixth, between three, the third and the sixth, depending on where you are, Sub-Saharan Africa or the whole of Africa, between third and the sixth important crop in Africa. Oh, it'll be fantastic. Actually, we'll have developed resistance into this weevil, uh, into this uh, sweet potato plants, and farmers can grow these uh, uh, plants without having losses. Thank mm -hmm. you.